were your thoughts on the, the jersey itself, just the look of it? Badass. Well, you wonder why I always dress in black. Why you never see bright colors on my back. Pulling up, it's kind of surreal. Going into a shoot there, you almost hope that whatever you're capturing is doing him justice, doing the whole jersey justice. Put like a ball in his hand or something? Mm -hmm. and just have him like toss it back and forth yeah. or something like that? Man, it's insane. We actually get to do this. I mean, me growing up in Tennessee, listening to, to country music, it's it's something that you would never expect to, to get to be a part of. Johnny Cash's first collaboration with the sports team. This is a unique partnership because it ultimately was born from the fan base. If, if the fans had not connected with Johnny Cash brand in an organic way, I don't think we'd be here today. Our first game in MLS history on February 29th, 2020, our supporters groups unfurled a Johnny Cash TIFO. From Folsom Prison with our logo over the middle finger. And we thought, what a great way to tie back a moment in history for Nashville SC to an iconic musician that means so much to the Nashville community. What's interesting about Johnny's history within Nashville is that he arrived here actually as a star. He uh, came here in roughly 1968, uh, moving in with June Carter Cash. The Johnny Cash Cabin cabin that Johnny and June owned on his original property um, and is still owned by John Carter Cash. And Dad was always open-minded about the, the, the spirit of creativity and the growth of Nashville and to see him uh, uh, attached to this I think it's appropriate. For your first in the world off the line. If I had to describe the cash kit in one word. 2023 man in black kit. Probably say legendary. Iconic. Intriguing. Every aspect of it, the concept, the sign-offs, the execution, came it from Nashville SC's traditional branding. Transform them from the boys in gold to the boys in black. I think the basis of this jersey is keeping it dark and true to the man in black. We wanted to showcase certain imagery that was important to us, Johnny at Folsom, and then incorporating his signature on the back neck. There's not another team in MLS that could do a jersey tied to this kind of iconic artist in this moment, in this way. It's just so very unique Nashville. Show us the other side of it too. Yeah, there we go. All right, sweet. It was hard to believe that we were there actually doing this, almost like it was, it was hard to <laughs> stay focused on what we were doing just because it felt so important, it felt so, it felt so big, it felt like something that we might not be able to do something this big again. I am playing the guitar part for the video, so my hands will be stars. As soon as I started seeing the footage in real time, like, I just knew right away, it was like, okay, like, whatever we come out of this day with is going to be just out of this world. Like, <laughs> 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 couldn't we just, like, put it through, like, yeah, okay. Awesome. Here we go, Here we, we almost got it here. There it is. There it is, almost. Keep going, push it. It's a little windy out here. Um, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. We're threading some fishing line through the jersey right now to try and get it to stay. Um, these are the behind the scenes that you all don't get to see and now you do, so. Uh, it's not always easy in the uh, photo and video production world. As we're trying to figure out how to light everything, I look, like, look up and see the window. Hey. Hey, I'm basically just gonna tell you if it's good or not, so. Okay, uh, here goes the flash. And I was like, I wonder if there's a way to like raise a stand up high enough to shoot the light through that window. I mean, it, lighting the room? it's hitting everything, yeah. Okay, then we just gotta figure out a way to set it up. We had a whole setup in one of the rooms that had all the, all the pianos and the keyboards in it. So this might just act as like a flare, like a glare through the window, yeah. like the sun is. Hopefully it'll work. 
I'm about to find out. Here we go. Let's go. No, the threaded part's too small. I think we might try a C stand. We could just boom it down. What's the threaded part though? Just pray it doesn't rain because <laughs> then we just had fun on the roof. Let me switch it. <laughs> A bit of a toad strangler on the on the horizon for the kids. We have our number 10 Hani Mukhtar coming out today to uh, model the jersey for us. We actually didn't tell him what he was coming to do, so he kind of showed up at this cabin not knowing why he was there. Hani has not seen the jersey yet, so hopefully here in about five minutes when he shows up, we'll get his initial reaction and hopefully he likes it. Going to the historic cash cabin, having the profound MLS MVP. What's up, MVP? <laughs> <laughs> What up, honey? You're gonna make a uh, go and make a left there at the barn, and then stay on the blacktop. Hey, how are you? Hey, good. How are you? Good. Hi. My man. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hang on. How are you guys? Hello. Hi. So we got a surprise Hi. for you. What surprise? Oh my God. The new week. jersey? Yep, for next year, Johnny Cash Ooh, themed. Whoa. I think this jersey could have the potential to maybe be like the biggest jersey in MLS, maybe ever. What do we think? Amazing. It's like royal. Yeah. One of the parallels that is absolutely recognizable between the ethos of the Nashville Soccer Club and that of all things cash is this passion and desire to constantly achieve the best. It's an example of Nashville punching above our weight. For the first time, Nashville FC is truly going overseas. You'll see it in China, and you'll see it in Argentina, and, and you'll see it in LA. I mean, you, it, it'll be everywhere. Do you know anything about Johnny Cash? Yeah, I went actually to Johnny Cash uh, Museum on Broadway with my mom. Really? Yeah. She so, loves Johnny Cash. So this is a, his actual cabin that he used to record music in. No way! And stuff like that, yeah. So this is his property here. Um, his house used to be that way. Um, so that's cool. Well, we will, yeah. You're going to be the star of our Johnny Cash jersey release. So I, lo I love the jersey, honestly. Get the detail, man. <laughs> yeah. To see him kind of come in, get to show him the kit. I mean, it was a it was a really cool moment to do, and uh, it was something that I'll I'll definitely cherish out of out of this whole process. Looks fit for an MVP, huh? Oh yeah. There's no downtime, and Hani is just yeah. moving through every element seamlessly. John Carter Cash is coming at five, okay. so I'll let you do photos here first. Pretty much like run and gunning the entire thing. These, these right here, like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah that looks cool. awesome. Cool. What's the power on this? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna grab the logo there. Being at the shoot, we're we're there shooting Hani, and uh, then then John Carter Cash walks in. Welcome to the cabin. Hmm? Thank you so much, thank you Yeah, so much. yeah, a... this is a first for us. We haven't had a... Uh, really? Yeah, per, well, no, I mean, we've had film shoots and photo yeah, shoots, yeah, yeah. but not a professional sports team. So. Yeah, huge honor. Thank you. So, yeah, glad to have you. Man, uh, sitting with Hani and chatting with him, um, it was just really a laid-back experience. I, I felt like, uh, um, you know, that he was excited to be here. And um, you know, my dad's known all the way, uh, you know, all the way around the world, and so he knew Dad's music when he was young. Welcome to Nashville. Where are you, you. Where are you from? Germany. Germany. Berlin, okay. Man. Yeah, yeah. So I grew up going to Germany, man. I, I grew where? up all over all because over. my dad, uh, up until the, the '90s, you know, he was on the road, and so yeah. I went to Germany pretty much every year. Wow. Yeah, my whole life until, you know, the late 90s, until my late 20s. Cool, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, so. But yeah, I've done tours in Germany and traveled all over, driven all over Germany for that yeah. matter. Yeah, I think he, him coming in here, he got a particular connection, you know, with my father. And, um, there, you know, that happens quite a bit, but it was exciting to see it in him, most certainly. And uh, it was great to hang out and spend the time with him. Tiny professional here on the Keys. Oh, this one's developing now, and it looks cool. There you go. How's that look, Nick? It looks awesome.
the last hour here of shooting. It's been a long day, long process, but a rewarding one. I, I love the back porch location. It was a location that we had planned to do it outside during daylight um, to kind of remake a, a shot that Nick had found, but we had never really thought of doing it at night. There's a picture of Johnny Cash standing in the door frame, like the the wooden door is open, the screen door is shut, and he's kind of standing behind the screen door looking right at the camera. Um, the idea initially that I had was to recreate that shot. We lost daylight and, and the weather kind of changed all of that. Um, but I still kind of wanted to recreate that shot. So we ended up getting out there. We have like five minutes or so left. I'm trying to set some, something up out here. Like, all right, close the door. We only have five minutes. I'm trying really quickly to figure out how we're gonna light it, how we're gonna shoot it, compose the shot. I need right here. All right, look right at the camera here. But I'm gonna tell you, it's one of the best stuff I've ever shot again. I'm just gonna let you know. Yeah, throw it out there, I'm just telling you. I don't know if it's the new hair or what, but. In our streak of lightning car. I look over to the left, there's a, a porch swing. But just so we're reminded of the one. It ended up looking really cool. We have the shot there on, um, on the swing, him standing outside of the door in the door frame next to um, a sign that says, Welcome to the Cabin. As a kid that grew up in Nashville, being able to do this is beyond anything that I thought that I would be doing. I'm done. Thank you, done. Thank you guys. Thank you. Appreciate it, honey. I keep the jersey, right? I love that. Johnny Cash stands for being that bold, profound, unapologetically authentic human. Um, he just stands for being authentic and true to yourself and who you are and what you believe in. Cheering on an underdog. And I think so much that connects to Nashville sees a uh, team on the field, their fans off the field, and just the identity of who we are as a club. I think he would laugh. I think he would be excited to see that suddenly, um, the, you know, after all these years, that there's that many people, 30,000 people in the stands out there, uh, raising their hands, all dressed in black, excited, you know, and wearing his signature. I think, uh, I think he would, he would be, he would be happy with Nashville for one, and happy with uh, continuance of his legacy. Stress High level, stress, stress level was here, and now it's here. Let's go. Here we go. High five. That everything's okay, but I'll try to carry off a little darkness on my back till things are brighter. I'm the man in black.